you have watched my vlogmas, you would know, but I have kind of fallen off the edge of the earth. <laughs> Just like not so hard on myself. I don't beat myself up over every little thing. If I want a cookie, I'm gonna eat the cookie. If I want a cupcake, I'm gonna eat all of the cupcakes. And that's okay. Like Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be going over my New Year's resolutions for the year of 2021. Um, as you can see, we're definitely in a different setting. I am outside, I'm in Houston, Texas, um, to spend some Christmas and New Year's with Jacob and his family. So um, we've had a really good holiday so far. Today is the 28th. One second, my friend asked me for my address. This is important. <laughs> All right, today is the 28th, and I think it's just so good to start thinking about your New Year resolutions before the actual New Year, so that is what we're gonna be doing. I was actually pretty surprised that some people, um, like the day right after Christmas, they were like on it and already know what their New Year relations were. Um, I kinda had an idea, but I'll be looking at my phone because I put like a little um, list on it. But first, I wanted to talk about what 2020 has done for me. Um, it's definitely been a very hard year for everyone. And I think that always need to like reflect because like there at least is one thing or a couple things that came out of 2020 that was really good. So I definitely wanted to share those with y'all. I hope y'all had a really good Christmas and you're having a great visit with your family or friends and you're ready for the new year. Also, sorry it's kind of loud outside. <laughs> I'm gonna try and talk a little bit louder just so you don't hear like the traffic, but you know, it's just it's just what it is. So, um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about what 2020 has done for me is in January of 2020, I bought a brand new car. If y'all have been here for a minute, you know I am obsessed with my car. I love it so, so, so much. I wash it weekly, love to like detail it. It's just my baby, okay? Um, I bought a 2017 Grand Cherokee and or Jeep Grand Cherokee and I just I love her Stella is my girl something else that you wouldn't really think that is actually a good thing that happened to me is that I gained a lot of weight okay I've talked about this before and it's kind of like a touchy subject just because I didn't realize how unhealthy I saw myself like skinny or heavier um but I actually saw myself unhealthy in like every single sense of the of the word so whenever I was actually at my fittest, I was still very unhappy with how I looked. I didn't like the way I looked. I always thought that like, you know what? Yeah, you lost 20 pounds, but there's still that like, there's still that like three pounds that you could lose or your legs need to be more toned. Your arms just need to be more toned, just like anything. And I think with a gaining weight, um, because mainly I haven't been exercising like I used to, I don't really walk on campus as much as I used to and that like really, really hurt me. Um, but I think with gaining weight, I definitely saw myself differently and I feel different. I don't feel as if I just hate myself all the time. I don't feel as if I just always think about like, you know, you can just lose so much more weight. I don't, if I miss a workout, I'm not freaking out. It's just like stuff like that. And like, I just feel like I have such a better or at least a healthier vision of myself um, physically and mentally and just everything. And honestly, I don't think I would have gotten that if I didn't gain weight. I, did, I wouldn't have like learned how to be okay with how I look now. Um, there definitely is things that I wanna change, which I'll get into later. But I don't think that I would have um, felt this way about myself if I did not gain the weight that I had. Um, I wanted to mention this is the first year I've been very comfortable with how financially stable I am. Um, I don't freak out about bills. I just budget really well now. Um, it took me a while to really think about this. If y'all enjoy like budgeting videos, I'd love to do that for y'all. Um, just kind of like everybody in college, like we're so tight for money. Um, whether your parents give you money or not, like you're just so tight for money just because there, you, there's so many different things that you want to be able to do, but you can't always because it's just so expensive. Then you still have food, you still have gas, you still have like the pop-up emergency bills, like your car breaks or something else, like whatever it is. Um, so yeah, I would love to do that for y'all if y'all are interested in that. But I think that this is the first year I'm actually very comfortable with where I am. And I have to thank my family for that and also just, um, I know Jacob does my budgeting for me and just myself, really. I'm pretty proud of myself for not going and spending all my means like I used to. 
and my last thing is that i think i have definitely found more self-love um this year in 2020 than previous years which is crazy enough to say but i think that i really have just um became more like just like not so hard on myself i don't beat myself up over every little thing if i want a cookie i'm gonna eat the cookie if i want a cupcake i'm gonna eat all of the cupcakes and that's okay like i'm not so tied up about it i'm not so like freaking out about it and i think that really helped me just not even just this year but also just moving forward um i used to like literally eat like a like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich one time a day and that was it and i used to faint <laughs> and that was just what it was i used to work out for two hours eat one sandwich a day maybe like a bowl of fruit and like that was my food for the day and that's just so unhealthy and the fact that like even whenever i was at my absolute skinniest like looking back at pictures now even from like a year and a half ago from today looking back at pictures now i'm just like oh my gosh like even whenever i was like living in that I didn't even realize how small I really was or how fit I really was just because I was like my brain was just so fogged by what I thought I looked like or what I thought other people saw me as you know and that's just not healthy and I'm really happy about where I am now and I'm really excited about where I'm headed okay also I got this really cute little cup for Christmas and I'll link it down below it's the cutest little thing in the world these are my new year's resolutions i have one main one and then the rest kind of fall underneath that one um so i'm just going to say it this is what is gonna be like the brand for my entire new year i am ready for it i'm excited for it but it's to create the healthiest version of myself and i'm not really putting off but i've just kind of been like not making myself a priority i haven't been very forward with it i've not been putting myself first just kind of thought that it would just like no matter what like something in the universe would take care of me um but that's actually just myself like i need to take care of myself i need to take care of my health i need to take care of um my vitamins my supplements i need to take care of my physical and my mental and my emotional health just like everything so i'm really excited for this year to make it my um, little motto if you will mantra of just be my healthiest self this year um and whenever i talk about like mental like i mean if you have watched my vlogmas you would know but i have kind of fallen off the edge of the earth <laughs> for like a week or two i didn't post any videos leading up to christmas it was probably like four or five days that i missed and it's because i was just so you wouldn't even be able to like tell it now I was so sad and I do not know why I don't know if it's just like seasonal stuff just because like the weather is getting different so I just kind of like feel different I don't know what it is but I was so so sad about whatever it was um, I remember like before we came up to before we came up here to Houston I love being in Houston by the way because this is where I want to live after college but I literally just feel like I don't know I don't feel stressed out here I don't feel um I don't feel like not like worried per se but like I just feel like so motivated just for like everything and that's just how I sorry I keep looking around but like that's just how I feel um in Houston but in College Station I am so stressed out <laughs> literally as soon me and Jacob have this like joke but like as soon as we get back into like the area code I am stressed <laughs> and then I like completely like turn which is not good but um, I get so stressed out. I get so worried about school. I'm literally honestly like, worried about an internship. Noisy, noisy car. I'm honestly worried about an internship that I haven't even started yet. It doesn't start until like June. And I'm worried about where I'm going to live during that for a job I don't even have yet. Like it's just, it's just ridiculous stuff. So, um that's just like a little tidbit about where i've been but it's just been so super super sad and i don't want to get on camera and be oh my gosh the sun sorry the sun came out so it's like blinding one of my eyes but i don't want to get on camera and be not fake but just not be 100 genuine with how i'm feeling so if i'm sad i'm not gonna get on camera because i don't want to pretend like i'm acting happy you know and no one wants to see like a little freaking goober over here just depressed so there you go all right sorry the lighting changed a little bit but the sun is going behind a cloud so i gotta hurry him and get this done um but so sorry i'm looking at my phone 
I want to transition to eating all whole foods, everything organic. It's just so important to not put chemicals in your body unless you absolutely have to. Um, I want to exercise a lot more than I do now. Right now I have not exercised in like two weeks or so. Um, like I said, I was just not... I was just not like mentally prepared for any of it. So I kind of just like fell off the other earth and didn't do anything. But I want to exercise more than now. I want to get to um, a really solid workout routine. Um, probably work out in the mornings. That's just like when I feel like I do the best. So I want to start working out in the mornings before classes, before work, and just really get a handle on that. I want to also challenge myself. And like challenge myself, I mean like in my workouts mainly. Because I used to, even whenever I was my like absolute fittest, I would not challenge myself enough because I was scared of like, what if I can't do it? So like, why would I want to put myself in a situation where I can't do something, you know? And I think that's so important to really challenge myself this time around and just give it my all and be proud of myself no matter what like the outcome is and just see how it goes. Um, I want to cut down on sugar. I eat so much sugar, okay? I go through sugar like there's no tomorrow. We made cookies like three days ago and your girl ate a lot of them. But I want to cut down a lot of sugar um, and kind of just make myself like, I mean, I always have to eat some sugar. I can't just give it up whole turkey. But I want to cut down and not just overload my entire body with so much sugar and all the products that i eat so that would be a very important one um and then last but certainly not least this is probably the most important one is to make myself a priority i really need to i need to just i need to just like just pick myself first like it's so hard to say but like i need to think about myself before i do anything else I need to think about myself before I think about myself in like one in school like get my homework done because that's literally just investing in myself because I'm in school to learn stuff so I need to do that I need to work out I need to take time away from everything else and just like read I need to take like a little um, portion of my time every night and just like do whatever something that I like to do which is something else that I kind of struggled with is because whenever I'm like super busy and really stressed out I literally forget about like normal like creature habits <laughs> I don't really know like what to say but like I always forget to like you know what it's okay if I watch a TV show for like 30 minutes or an hour every night for myself just because I like to do it and no phone no homework no anything else and just sit there and enjoy it and like aimlessly stare at the television you know like, that's not terrible and I think I really just need to do that because whenever I get super stressed, I literally don't care about anything else. I literally just like start falling back into like, literally just like going through the motions instead of like actually living. And I really want to get back to that. Um, I used to feel like that a lot. And it's just not fun. This is like the craziest way I know how to like describe it is whenever I feel like I'm just going through the motions, I feel as if there's like a little me <laughs> in my head sitting on a couch like this is <laughs> this is so weird it's like little me sitting on a couch in the back of my head and they're looking at a tv but the tv are like my eyes and like i'm literally just like watching life go by that is absolutely what i feel like and i hate that feeling i feel like i'm not in charge or in control of my, my own life it's very 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 weird and you're kind of just like you feel like a zombie like you don't feel like you're doing anything to actually benefit yourself and you're just going through the motions and I'm not living like that anymore so a lot of the videos this year will be mainly around this but also my college vlogs um i'll still be in college don't you worry i'll be here for a long time <laughs> um but i also want to get some like back to school stuff up for y'all um before the spring semester and kind of like show y'all how i prepare for that and yeah i hope y'all are ready for the ride the journey to the self discovering because i really 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 need it also comment down below or follow me on instagram and message me your news resolutions as well i'd love to hear them um but yeah thank y'all so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe as always follow me on instagram for more pictures of me in still form life if you will and yeah so thank y'all so much. I will see y'all on Thursday. My new posting schedule will still be, well, I mean, not, not really new, 
my posting schedule will be Tuesday and Thursday still at 5 p.m. now that Vlogmas is over. Um, so yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all on Thursday. Love you. Bye.